so much goes into caddying. You gotta be present, you gotta be available for your guy when he needs you. If he asks you to do something or tells you he likes something a certain way, make sure you do it that way every time. Know when you need to be a cheerleader, know when to be quiet. It's not just about carrying the bag and giving you a number. One thing a good caddy has is a great tone to his voice. He or she does when they talk. 38 covers right at it. They don't sound like they're sitting on the fence. If you get the straight left to right, you can nut that nine. That's the one that's got a better chance of getting close. They don't say a lot of maybes or I think so or I hope so. Right now, I like it. I don't feel that hurt, OK? Yeah, I love it. They have confidence in their ability to get you around the golf course. Oh, what a shot. You've got to have a mutual respect between the player and the caddy. If that respect isn't there, the, the relationship's not going to last. 79 we have last time. Yeah, it's about eight yeah. yards close. Yeah. If I want more information, wait till I ask for it before providing any more information or input. I like to, to be out there with someone that I can have a good time with, someone that I can trust, and someone that's there to, to help me. When to be quiet, where to stand, all those things to make it easier for the guys. You don't want to be the caddy that's always in the way. Always be on time and listen to your players' wants and needs because it's going to be different from player to player. Great caddies prepared. They know the golf course. They try to get to know their player. The word, the language, and certainly enthusiasm to, to want to get better and improve is, is vital. The whole goal as a caddy is to make your player the best he can be. The Caddy Masters Association presents Caddy Training Video. So, you just heard from some of the top players on the PGA Tour about the importance their caddies play in their success. Caddying is more than just carrying the bag, replacing divots, and keeping the clubs clean. A good caddy is a vital component to a successful round. It eases a player's mind knowing his caddy understands the rules and etiquette of the game. If a caddy can then give good advice on club selection, yardage, and reading greens, trust me, he or she is going to be very highly sought after. And a positive attitude and a strong work ethic can go a long way as well. Hi again, everyone. I'm Jimmy Roberts of NBC Sports and the Golf Channel. I grew up in White Plains. The Met section is not only where I learned to play the game, but of greater significance, this is where I was a caddy when I was younger. Caddying is a great summer job. If you work hard, you can make good money, establish relationships with some of the top business leaders in the area, and most of all, you can have fun. What better way to spend a beautiful day than on the golf course? And you get paid for it, too. Over the next 20 minutes, we'll demonstrate for you what you need to know, do, and say to be the best caddy you can possibly be. From appearance, preparation, and on-course knowledge to those little tricks of the trade. Of course, much of what you learn can only be learned on the course. If you put your time in and enjoy caddying, you'll stand a very good chance of being regarded and respected as one of the top caddies at your club. All right, before we get started, let's review the basic essentials to becoming a good caddy. A caddy must be neat and clean in appearance and adhere to club rules. Each club might require a caddy to wear a standard uniform and may include a proper shirt, shorts or slacks, caddy bib, and hat. And don't forget, always tuck in your shirt. Comfortable shoes are important too. And you'll need a towel as well. Remember, keep at least a quarter of the towel damp in order to clean the grooves of the club and the golf ball as well. Every job requires tools of the trade. A good caddy will grab extra tees and ball markers, pencils, scorecards, a divot tool to fix ball marks on the green, and a yardage measuring device. Also, it's not a bad idea to bring your lunch. When you've put on your uniform and gathered your tools, proceed to the caddy area and check in with the caddy master to receive your assignment. Hey, Rob. Hey. Good morning, Peter. How are you? Nice day for golf today. Beautiful. Mr. West has an important guest today, Mr. Miller. And Mr. Bluestone's going to join them. So I'll send Kevin with Mr. Bluestone. He's new, but he's doing a great job so far this year. You know, I appreciate if you can work with him out there. Oh, great. Uh, when's tea time? Uh, 9 o'clock. So I'll give you a call in about 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Let me get ready. Sounds good. After you receive your assignment, 
Head down to the bag area. Locate your golfer's clubs and organize the golf bag before moving on to the tee. And make sure you wet that towel. Hi, you Kevin? Yes. Hi, I'm Peter. How's and we're out together today. Uh, I've got Mr. West and Mr. Miller, and you're out with Mr. Bluestone. Okay. So the first thing we want to do before we go to the practice range is we want to double check the bag. It's important for us to know our player's clubs. You can take notice if he has head covers, and most importantly, 14 club maximum. And we want to arrange the bags in a way that's most convenient for us and, and for our players. So you've got your woods in your part in your top section, you've got your long irons in your middle section, and you've got your short irons in the bottom section. Gives the golfer easy access to his bag. All right, so uh, they have their putters already, so we're all set. We can just go over there and meet them. All right. When you arrive and prepare for the day, check in with the caddy master, receive your assignment, organize golfer's bag, remember the tools of the trade, scorecard, pencil, divot tool, ball marker, tees. Proper etiquette when you first meet your golfer is to greet him with a firm handshake and hey. make sure you introduce yourself to the rest of the group as well. Morning, gentlemen. Hey, guys, how you doing? Uh, Mr. West, yeah. uh, Mr. Miller. Hey, My name is Peter. I'm going to be your caddy. Bob. Bob. Bluestone, this is Kevin. He's Kevin. the caddy. Your Rob Bluestone, looking you. forward to it. Uh, looks like we're all ready to go. Good. Okay, good. All right, uh, we've double checked your bag. You've all got 14 clubs. You've got uh, plenty of golf balls. I've got anything else you need. Good. I've got a yardage book, um, tees, divot tool. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty good at reading the greens. So just well, that's good to if know. You'd like, well, if you'd like a second opinion, I'm glad to help you. Terrific. By the way, I'm playing a Titleist 4. I got a big red A on it there. Okay. So. Okay. We got I've that. got a uh, TaylorMade 3. TaylorMade 3. I'll be playing Titleist 1. Okay. Pro V1s. That's More good. Time. Okay, right, I think we're ready. We're all set. Thanks, guys. Thank you. There you go. It's helpful to familiarize yourself with all areas of the golf course and understand the proper golf terminology. This will help you better communicate with your golfer. Every hole on the course has a starting point. The tee box is that point. Typically, there are multiple sets of tees, each set a different color. Each set corresponds to the yardage of the golf course. Make sure you know what tees your group will be playing. Better players or lower handicap players generally play from the back tees. Women generally play from the front tees. But remember, that's not always the case. When you reach the tee box, it's important that you get off to a good start with your golfer. Understanding where to stand and how to position the golf bag are key facts. Kevin, when you get to the tee box, you want to line up on one side behind the markers in a position that does not distract your golfer, but it lets you follow the flight of his ball. Okay. Gene, it's your honor. Take us out. Great. How far is it to the dog I creep? That's 230 yards. I'll take the drive. First, have the bag positioned so the clubs are easily accessible to the golfer. Second, stay quiet and be aware of the environment around you when golfers are hitting. You don't want to distract them by talking or making any sudden moves. Also, make sure your shadow is not interfering. It's bad caddy etiquette if you cast a shadow over a golfer's sight line when they're hitting. If a shot travels offline, make sure you follow the flight of the ball, track where it lands, and carefully mark that location with a stationary object, like a tree, or a rock. Kevin, I've got Mr. Bluestone's ball flying right over that tall maple tree and landing about 10 yards past the base. Got it, I marked the same spot. Right. Why don't you hurry out there, put a towel on it, and then find a, uh, find a yardage marker for Mr. Bluestone. Once all the golfers have hit their tee shots, retrieve the club and remain in front of all the golfers. Never take the club from your golfer. Wait for the player to hand it to you. Move quickly up the fairway so you can find all golf balls before your group arrives. When locating errant shots, it's important to help one another. Teamwork is key to becoming a good caddy. Kevin, have your ball right here. Once you've located and identified your golfer's ball, mark it with a towel or a hat. Mr. Bluestone, I got your ball right here, right by the white towel. And find the nearest yardage marker. Never ever touch a ball that's in play. Four caddying is also an integral part of caddying. The job of a four caddy is to keep the group moving 
by tracking and locating golf balls. A forecaddy will usually accompany a group of players taking golf carts, but the job applies to those carrying the clubs as well. And teamwork, again, is critical. Hey, Kevin, this hole has a blind spot, so I'm gonna send you out. Mr. Bluestone has his driver, so I just want you to go out on the fairway about 200 yards on the right, and if the ball goes offline, I want you to give me the hand signals. Remember where they are, right? Ball goes out of bounds, you point in the direction they want it out. If the ball goes into the hazard, to the bunker, you point down to the ground. Now, if the ball's offline, but you've located it, you just give me the safe signal. Perfect, I'll head out there. Okay. If a shot travels offline or near a hazard, the caddy will quickly locate the ball and signal back to the group on the tee. Let's go a little bit left. No, I... Uh, that made the uh, bunker, Mr. Bluestone. So let's review the key points. When you reach the tee box, properly position yourself on the tee box. Make sure you can see all the tee shots. Stay quiet when golfers are hitting and watch your shadow. And never take a club from a golfer. When locating tee shots, stay ahead of the golfers. Quickly locate errant shots and mark them with a towel or a hat. Never touch a ball in play and help other caddies when locating errant shots. When you're a four caddy, work as a team with the other caddies. Learn the proper hand signals. Stay ahead of your golfers, especially when golf carts are in use. As you approach your golfer's ball in the fairway, find the closest yardage marker and walk off the yardage to the ball to determine the distance to the green. Make sure you familiarize yourself with where markers are positioned, as generally, they are scattered throughout the fairway. All right, Kevin, I got a yardage marker right here. Now, one stride equals one yard, so count the steps you take and subtract that from the marker, and then you've got the yardage to the middle of the green. Bring the bag up directly to the ball and wait for the golfer to select a club. What yardage do I have here, Peter? Well, I've got 150 yards to the middle, We've got 128 to the front and 165 to the back. Okay. I want to make sure I can clear that front bunker. There's no problem over the green? No, you'll be fine. Good. Thank you. Another tool that can be very helpful to both a caddy and a golfer is a yardage measuring device. The device is often used by the caddy to provide quick, accurate yardages. 168. This enables the group to keep a good pace of play during the round. When a club is chosen, Step away a few paces and position yourself to carefully watch the flight of your golfer's shot. Come on, ball. If the ball comes Good to ball. rest on the green, on, on. hand your Come golfer the putter. A golfer should Good never ball. have to ask for his putter. If a divot was made, okay. replace the divot quickly. It's very important that the caddy replaces the divot. It keeps the course looking beautiful, and it's a courtesy to the player behind you. So, you take the divot, Put it in its original spot, in the original hole, and step down on it, okay? okay? And remember that when the player hands you back the club, take the wet part of your towel, wipe it down, get all the mud out of the grooves, put it back in the bag in the same spot that it came out of. Okay? All right, got you it. You ready Pete. to go? Let's right. catch up with our golfers. Let's go. When performing your duties in the fairway, stay ahead of your golfer when walking to the ball. Provide yardage. Present bag to golfer for club selection. Be in position to watch the shot. If the ball comes to rest on the green, hand the golfer his putter. Make sure to replace divots 